Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, this week we have a different thing. We're going to continue with our reading practice, but um, it's going to be both a Spanish practice and an English practice. Okay, as you can see, I have a book here. You may be familiar with this book. Um, it's called Rey de Reyes. Now, this book has been translated uh, to English. I did the translation and then I read the book and the Caballeros de Gea who wrote the book uh, and one of them, one of the authors is a, is a parent, is the father of one of our students in year six. Um, they made it available. They are sharing their book and their work with everybody. And so you can find this book on the internet through the Fundación Ibercaja and you can find their um, the sound files, the audio book in the Caballeros de Gea website on the internet. So I'm going to show you what I want, what I want you to do with, uh, with this book uh, now. Okay, so um, on the description of the video, and I'm going to show you in a minute how you can uh, access this. In the description of the video, you're going to have three files. You're going to have the Spanish version of the book, the English version of the book and the audio book, okay? But it will depend on what you're using. If you're using a computer, I'm going to show you how you can do it. If you are using a tablet, I will show you how to do it. But I know that some of you, and sometimes even a good number of you, don't have a computer or a tablet at home, and you can only I do the activities with a with a cell phone, with a mobile phone. So I'm also going to show you because depending on what device uh, you're using, uh, whether it's a computer, a tablet, or a mobile phone, you have to do different things. So it's today we're going to have a. I'm going to propose the activities, but I'm also going to teach you a little bit about technology. Okay. So we're going to start how to do it on the computer. Now on the computer, you're going to open the video and you're going to, well, you're on the video actually. So in the description, okay, you got to make sure that you open the whole description and you have three links, okay? The first link is the versión del texto original en español. So if you click on that, you can see that you open a tab and then you have the Spanish version of the of the book okay it takes a little while to load but uh, it will be in a second so we can see the uh, the book in Spanish Rey de Reyes okay and you can go to the introduction and the thanks and all that and then we start with the presentation and then we start on 1973, his birth, su nacimiento, and you have the text, okay? All right, so that's the Spanish version. Then, if you go again to the description of the video, the second link is the English version of the book. We click on that, and it opens again the edition in English, okay? So, as you scroll down again, you will see the text in English okay so we're going back to where we were to the first page of the story 19 uh, eight, sorry 1073 his birth okay you have there the text okay with the pictures and the illustrations it's a great, really good book okay and then if we go back to the um, to the video the third link is the English audio book El audio libro in English, where you can listen to the story in English. Okay, so we click there, and it opens another link that takes you to the Caballeros de Egea um, website, and you can see all the different files with all the different pages. So, how are you going to work with this? Well, I recommend you first to read each page um, in Spanish. Okay, so first I will read... 1073, 1073, you read it in Spanish, okay? Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter. Then you 
you go to the English version after you read the Spanish page. You go to the same page in the English book and then you listen to it on the audio book. You see 1073, 1073. So you can click there and if you're working on a computer you can have all the three things open. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, play the, the first page of the book of the story. The year 1073. That's me. And the current and now I go to the book. Cold autumn night. And I can follow the, the reading. Name Alfonso was born. His mother was Felicia de Rossi, and his father, the King of Aragon, Sancho Ramirez. You can stop it. Look, you Dad. can pause it. Look, if you don't understand something, you can pause it, and you can compare the Spanish and the English at the same time. And when you're ready, you can continue with the story. Okay, so that's how you would use this, uh, these resources, these activities on a computer. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to do it on the tablet. Okay, so you will go to the video on YouTube and you're going to have, again, the three, uh, the three files, okay, that we have on the description as on the computer. So the first one is going to take you to the Spanish version of the book. So you click there and it tells you to open it with one uh, program or another and it's going to ask you to download it. So what you're going to do is download it and you will have it in your um, you see it's downloading uh, let me see if I can show you it's downloading over there it says it's downloaded so then you will have to access it in your tablet you will have it on downloads and descargas okay as you can see it's not really big it's only 20 uh, MBs but uh, it takes a little while maybe it takes two minutes to download and and then I'm going to show you how you can find it on your tablet. I'm not sure if your tablet's gonna be like this one, but so from the, you will go to the main menu. You will go to your file manager. Well, I mean, it's out there too, as I really don't know how it's called in Spanish. So um, then you go to all, all your documents, then you go to downloads, descargas, and on your downloads, you will have Rey de Reyes, Okay, so I already downloaded the one in English, so you can open it. Oh, no, this is the one in Spanish that we just downloaded. Okay. I hadn't. I'm downloading it right now. It's the same size, not too big. Uh, it will take about a minute, and when I have it, you will find it on the same place. I'll show you in a second. So let's see the files, okay? Main menu file manager all documents downloads and here I have uh, Rey de Reyes I downloaded two times and then I have King of Kings okay so I open it and I have King of Kings okay now you know that on a tablet you have three buttons on the three icons and normally the square lets you open all the uh, activated uh, documents that you have so uh, I'm going I opened already the English version I go again to the file manager I open the Spanish version and to go back and forth from the English version to the Spanish version I just just like I show you on the computer okay I read the first page um, I read the first page first in Spanish and then I can read the English one so I go back and forth between the Spanish version then I read all the pages first when I finish with the first page I go to the second page 10880 and then I go to the second page of the English version 1080 in English okay now I go back to the video on the channel and I click 
on the third link, which is the audio book. And I will open it with Firefox, Chrome or whatever uh, you want to use. And that takes me to the page of, again, to the website of Caballeros de Gea where I can find the audio book. Now, if I want to read the page that's 1080, well, I click and I will start listening. Little is known of Alfonso's childhood in the heart of the royal house, except for a few experiences that carved his future personality. Let's see some. So of them. I can have. So for example, both when Alfonso them, turned seven, he made a it. promise together with with his two. But as you can see, you can have both things working at the same time. You can be reading the book and listening to the book at the same time. Okay listening to the audiobook. When you finish one file, when you finish one page, you will have to move on to the next uh, chapter, the next page, play it and go back to the book in English. All right. But remember, always read it first in Spanish. Okay. Okay. So, that's the difference between how you have to do the activities, the reading, on a computer or on a tablet. On the phone is the same thing, okay? On the phone, you will click on the links, you will download the Spanish version and the English version, and then you will click on the audiobook link that will take you to the Caballeros de Gea webpage, where you can listen to it, and on the on the on the um, on the mobile phone, is the same as in the tablet. You play each uh, file, uh, each chapter on the audiobook, and then you have to open the English and um, and Spanish version of the book. You have to get them from your downloads. De tu, de tu carpeta de descarga, and it's the same on the phone as on the tablet, okay? To some of you, it may be a little difficult to find it on your phone or on your tablet, but look for it, it will be there, okay? So, um, so that's gonna be the work of the week. I'm not gonna ask you to do any activities. Now, there is a lot of chapters, it's not a short book, um, and actually, the reading of the story in English takes about one hour. If we exclude the bibliography, because all the chapters are read, uh, the presentation and the thanks and, and the last parts, the bibliography and some other pages. But the story, the story takes about one hour to listen. So first you have to uh, read the story in Spanish each page by page, first the first page in Spanish, then the first page in English. So this is going to take you about maybe like more than two hours. I'm sure it's going to take you more than two hours. So I'm not asking you to do this all uh, today. You can take, you can do this through the whole week, but you have to read the book this week because I will ask you to do some activities about this book next week but i didn't want to give you more work because it's just too much okay so um the idea is that you enjoy the reading that you do some reading in spanish some reading in english and you're gonna see that when i translated this book i was very very careful to translate almost word by word with even with the same kind of syntax okay um so basically, it's, a, it's like a photograph of the Spanish version, okay? I didn't do an adaptation, because um, that's what, not what the authors were looking for. Um, they wanted to have, we wanted, we decided to make a, a word, by, almost a word by word translation. So uh, that's gonna help you a lot. First you read it in Spanish, then you read it in English. And then if there are some parts of English, because I'm honestly, this is not an easy book, okay? But, uh, you don't have to understand everything, okay? It's a nice story full of heroes, kings, uh, battles, traitors, adventure. Um, and it was actually written and published in commemoration 
of the reconquest of Zaragoza two years ago, because that was 900 years of the reconquest of Zaragoza in uh, 1118, okay? So, so it was a commemoration of, of uh, this uh, great Aragonese king, Alfonso I, whom we called the battler. I hope you like the story. Take it easy. Just put 30 minutes um, every day. Uh, read it through the week. Uh, after you've done it, if you like the story and you want to practice more, uh, you can just forget about the Spanish version the second time and just listen to the story, looking at the, uh, at the text on the English version and enjoy it. I hope you like the book. Uh, and I will see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.